Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going back to our grape container. If you didn't see this video the other day then um, pop back in time on my channel after this one and locate it. It was the one before the live stream. So last time we poured it like this and I poured around all those lovely little holes in there and one of my beautiful followers on youtube um suggested turn it upside down and pour on the top and see what happens um uh, i love that idea i just didn't want it running down the sides so i've put some packing tape right the way around glued it down stuck it down the tape down all the way around so that the paint will either go through the holes or stay on the top one or the other that's the target anyway um the other thing when she first said it i was like oh great it will be caught in there and not until i let it out will it be able to get out but then i realized that actually there are little lips little stands that lift this piece up so i'm thinking well that let's see what that creates you know let's not stop a great idea let's see what that creates and see what happens there last time i put paint on most of the area and left the inside clear i'm not going to put any paint on this time i'm just going to start pouring see what happens i can always add more paint around the outside when i go to stretch it if that is required in my last video if you remember this was looking a little bit more worse for wear than it currently is i have had a bit of a scraping good time at it as i was watching a video just now and uh, it's kind of come up a lot cleaner still more that could come off but hey it's definitely a lot cleaner <laughs> so for those of you that were getting a bit antsy about my dirty mug that's okay it's better so what colours are we going to use today? I am going to continue using up my mixings of colours. I had a play with mixing ultramarine blue, which is that one there, with my crimson red, which is that one there. And I got all these lovely combinations of colours. So... How do you know that two colours are going to go together? By making them out of the same two colours. <laughs> so we've got this one, which is more of a burgundy, almost red look colour. And we've got this one, which is heading more towards the royal purple colour. Um, really really like those really 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 like those two colors together um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two colors and add in some white and some what was the other thing Payne's gray but no iridescent medium this time and I'm only going to put silicon oil and I use dimethicone which comes in the form of Durex Play Perfect Glide um, I use those as my combos what I recommend if you guys are wanting to do your own colour mixing mix your paints up as if you were going to use them like normal and then combine those together and it creates a real ease of mixing um for me anyway i find that it they mix together so easily they if you've got two that are the same thickness they come together and um create a nice consistency the same consistency That's, these have been sitting out on my desk 
started to thicken a bit. Now, some of you have been asking about my um, my tins that I use. These tins are just little food tins. They've got smooth sides, and I use an edge cutting tin opener to open them. It's still thick, crikey! Um, an edge cutting one to open them and what that gives is a nice smooth edge on both the tin and the lid and then you can just use that lid as a um, as a lid literally and I've had paint sit in these tins for a couple of weeks made up yep they need a little bit of dampening down bit of extra water added that's better um but they are good to go they last for and last and last and last all right so let's get our jug filled up um i'm gonna start with a little bit of white i'm using my white house paint and then some purple, some more white, oh, I'm loving this already, who knows what it's going to look like when it comes out the other side, I think I, I would love it, just those the white and this darker one, so I'm kind of doing a dirty cut pour, I'm intrigued to see what goes on, what we end up with. <laughs> Who knows what we'll get. I think I will be definitely adding some more white around the edges. But I love What's showing up on the top there. Let's scrape that out and get as much paint out of there as I can. A little bit more white just to pull that down. And then scrape out the other one. Look at this. Wow, 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 wow. That's so pretty. Might just take a photo just of that. <laughs> wow. Awesome. So we've got, what is that? I have no idea. 250 mils. Uh, which is about six, just over six ounces of paint. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six down each side three down each end but we've also got these two holes in the middle so goodness knows what this is going to end up like just going to spread that out a bit just so we don't end up with big lumps you can hear someone saying that it's looking pink right let's give it a go
Oh, yum. Look at this. Let me zoom you in. How pretty is that? But what's happening is the stuff that's seeping out the side is just getting smeared. Which I'm not excited about. But let's see what we can create. So, oh no, I've got to capture that. It's that that is just so pretty that I've got to grab it on a on a cabochon. Let me just do that first before I start smearing it everywhere. It's so pretty. So I've got my cabochon flat side down. Wow. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, I could keep going, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Stop, Michelle. Keep going. Let's do paint. Oh, wow. These colors together. It's not pink. It's purplish. I swear. <laughs> Just going to push the rest of that paint off. Have a look what we've got in there. How's that looking? Interesting. I agree. It looks interesting. <laughs> now, I also know that there is so not enough paint on there to get a good. Um, smear a good run around without losing too much so when paint rolls over a dry surface, which is what this canvas is, it um, it starts to roll over itself. Okay, the side bits lay down and become the bridge for the next bit to run across. We've all seen cartoons of things like that happening I'm sure so what I'm doing right now is laying down the bridge already so that the pretty stuff has something to run across and doesn't have to lay down for the next bit does that make any sense I hope so Just make sure it's all joined up all the way around. It also means there's a smoother, smoother run, and you don't end up. You know how um, when a river or water of any description is trying to find a new path, when the first bit finds a path, it goes. Everything else goes, oh, quick, go this way. It, this is the easy way. Well, that's kind of what we're 
creating here is that the whole thing is the easy way rather than there being all right oh sorry I didn't zoom you out far enough you didn't see me do all that ah look at my mess right so I'm gonna go to this corner bring it back and go to this corner And bring it back now I've got some paint falling off which I can pick up this is how you don't waste paint guys, you pick up your runoff, <laughs> if it will come up, and put it down the other end. Now, some of you are saying, this doesn't look like real acrylic pour, and where are the cells? <laughs> They're coming. Can you see them? <laughs> Probably not. From up there. But there are some cells starting to appear. Can you see those down there? Do, 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 do. I just, I'm, I'm loving the way these colours are combining. Um... It's actually got nothing to do with cells, it's just the beauty that they are creating together. And yes, it looks very pink. And I know that it will dry. Darker. Whew, that is stunning. Oh, crikey. I hope you're seeing the beauty of this one because it's just delicious. Well, from my point of view, anyway. It's delicious. <laughs> Making hair, Doug. He's like, and it's pink. Ah, <laughs> uh, my beautiful people. Do you guys realise what a gift you are in my life? I'm so grateful for all of you that follow my channel and comment and contribute to me whether that's just by being a view by 
letting the ads play at the beginning of the video so YouTube pays me. Or even you put up your own money and support me on Patreon. Or buy my art. <laughs> That's another option, always. Just turn it around so I can see this back so I'd make sure I've got all the corners covered. Oh, it's delicious. It looks like candy floss. Oh, it actually looks like the inside of something. Just all the layers. Let me get you down and show you. I feel like I need to torch it though. Do and I don't, and I do and I don't. Just a really quick going over because I can see some ear bubbles. Yes, we got some cells. Blah, 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 it. Oh, wow. All right, let me get you down and show you. Okay. So, just look at the layers of colour. this oh, I missed some cells back here the cells have come out delicious where they have come out Obviously that was not my intention. Look at this. Oh. Yum. Yum, yum. Sorry about the aeroplane. I love this bit. It looks like an upside down tree. Looks a lot pinker on your on my screen than it does in real life. Look at the way this just plays. Oh, yum, 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 yum. I love it. I love it. I love it. A lot, 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 lot. Can you tell? I really, really love it. <laughs> Oh, how does it get better than this? Sometimes I ask that question, it's almost like it can't, but no, I know, I always know. Can, if I can ask the question, it can get better. So how does it get better than this? Oh, well, my friends, I am going to... Did I show you this bit? This bit here. This is just... This just yummy. <laughs> all right I'm gonna let it dry and come back and show you the dry result in three two one all right here she is look at that you know what I think our color is almost right that is just so pretty. I just... I know it's pink. I hope you're happy, Doug. <laughs> You've harassed me long enough. 
I now like pink. Well, sort of a dark pink. Um, I must admit, when I was 16, I went to my school dance wearing a puce pink dress, and it was probably quite similar to that. Um, I just love it. I love everything about this painting. I, there is not a piece in it that I don't love. Even the bit over here where the paint all didn't run off in the corner, it still looks awesome. Um, there is a little bit of break in my paint in here, but you got to get right up close to see it. It's not the most ideal, but you know what? Look at that. Oh, happy, happy, happy me. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. So, what are you unwilling to try? That if you were to try it, would allow you to create something beyond what you thought was possible. I mean, how many of you have looked at one of those grape containers and gone, recycling? And how many of you are like me and gone, hmm, I wonder, what could I create with that? What else is possible? I love it. I do, I do, I love it a lot. Um... So, I would like to invite you all to play. Play, play, play. Keep asking questions. What else is possible? What else could I create? How much more fun could I have? What other creations are possible beyond what I've created so far? It just... Every time I ask these questions, more awareness shows up. More ideas show up. More inspiration shows up. So don't try it. <laughs> it might create more in your life. More fun. More joy. More ease. More glory. So. Um, I am going to have available. A link in the description to buy a print of this one. Um, it's a digital download that you can buy and it prints out on either an A4 or a letter size paper. Go on, I dare you. It's only $5. $5 New Zealand even. I mean, that's only like $3 American. So cheap. And what else is possible? Those of you that are on Patreon with me, your code will also have already been sent to you for this month. Um, and you can use that to get the download how does it get any better and guess what we're going live on Friday vaguely at a well my Friday most of you Thursday um, so it will be at a Europe friendly time which will be 7.30 New Zealand time, which is kind of around about lunchtime America, early afternoon. No, not 7.30. I'm having a sleep in. 8 o'clock. <laughs> um, normally at 7.30 every morning, I am doing my pulling in your reality, creating the life you desire, energy pull calls. But I am going to pre-record Friday for you, so that you get to have me live at a time that works for Europe I adore you all I look forward to playing with you on Friday and um, so make sure you check your time in the email that will be coming out in the morning um, if you have signed up those of you that have not signed up you have got a few hour, measly little hours left to sign up 
to get your email to say when we'll be going live. I adore you all and I will see you on Friday. Have fun and what else is possible? Bye-bye.